in light of um, the obscenity, in light of the, the intentions behind Leslie Katz's activities towards me when I was 18 years old. One can only characterize her behavior as an obscenity. And in light of this obscenity, it's necessary to coach the truth out of administration who refused to acknowledge her obscenity and intentions towards me. What we have in this situation is a barter of trust going on that's ill-deserved and it's been shown to be ill-deserved by the apprehension of one of Leslie Katz's partners, John Shulman, museum thieving. Now, the woman's lobby has the tendency to become very inflamed with their own ideologies. Some of it traces back to the utility and the power structure of reinforcing bigotry by fear of interracial sex on the grounds of the phobia and mythology surrounding interracial rape and physical assault. Okay, that takes a root and finds a new object that allowed them to say, while simultaneously claiming that no one has the right to push a religion on somebody else that virginity proves rape, which is false. It does not. It proves restraint. There was never any intention on my part to physically violate her. To the contrary, my letter to her showed that I was protesting her innuendos and the innuendos of her law team, impinging the idea on my psyche that I blew it. Why should you get another chance, she said. This happened simultaneously with other intonations from people who were foreign agents for England through the Wispensky Circle and Gurdjieff called the Green Party of Germany, Wilsel Brom. What would you think of a scheme to transform the human race by injecting blood? I realize foreign adversaries can exploit that, but careful research shows that the Council of Dictators in the Wispensky Circle was comprehensive. This was Yoko Ono's doing. They claimed that I had misunderstood letters for the writer for whom they are advocating and who appears on the cover of one of Robert Fripp's records, who was a friend of John Lennon. And that as a result, my tentative involvement with Fripp, with Peter Gabriel was tainted by the shadow of um, my adversary which was their friend, which was the person they claimed killed John Lennon that I should have intercepted when I was a child. And Penis Gabriel, okay, has refused to allow recovery from very brutally impacted neuroplasm. These British call themselves allies. Yet when they found a friend with a brutal head injury inflicted by Israelis, they found the doctor and told the doctor, hit him in the head. They hit me again and again and again in a brutal nerve injury that they themselves had inflicted, claiming that it was because I was negligent to something I knew nothing about, who could not have imaginably comprehended. It was bad enough that Frippy Tune was putting out feelers for people like me that were getting me to hitchhike to St. Louis just to hear him play, when secretly he had deafened me. Enough of that. That's what this was to circle is. And the British are trying to hotwire around American public commonwealth and dip diplomatic processes and democracy skills. And I am only a college student. I'm not making any pretenses. They have hotwired into me to use me as a PlayStation for who? For an ISIS warrior named Yusu Endor from Senegal who jumped out of the rabbit's hat. Okay, enough of that. Penis Gabriel sabotages recovery while hardwiring me into a PlayStation so he can demonstrate his um, psychological objectives, which come from the cruel, sadistic, deranged mind of Yoko Ono, who has caused 
all of these AIDS victims and gay people and perverts gleefully threatened their own country with a hydrogen bomb explosion directed at me, a little boy from the Pacific Fleet and the Navy. This was facilitated by the Jeffin Corporation, who promoted Obama and Jeff and the, and, and the Clintons in the name of Leslie Katz to make me a pariah. So administration ignored this hybrid war obscenity. They made me into a PlayStation without my knowledge or consent. And the more I learned about it and the closer I got, the worse they got. And this is the fact of these people. The Green Party are mercenaries. We talk about not letting the ROTC into our campuses. These people are mercenaries on our campuses, capable of hardwiring a PlayStation. Police headquarters has to stop facilitating them. You have to allow me to go to school and recover. You can't keep using me as a secret pawn in your espionage machine. I won't allow it. Robert Fripp should be arrested and prosecuted. He is criminally insane. He's one of those Confederate statues that should be taken down. Paul McCartney is a greater threat to the earth than climate change is. Now, I realize I don't have the power to issue warrants. If I did, I wouldn't hesitate. I would have them arrested immediately for what they have done. It's an obscenity. But what I can do is say this. I will back off if you leave me alone. That's what's criminally insane about what they're doing is they keep pushing the button. They keep pushing the button and they keep pushing the button, even though they are criminally insane and their ideas are absolutely the most disturbing ideas that have ever been fomented in our culture, ever. And they come at it out of our culture, claiming to represent our culture, and that is false. Yoko Ono, the crow cat, represents an Axis intelligence system from the past, seeking revenge over our national estate. And the stupid Spike Old Lee and the Kremlinopolis and the metropolis of New York City have been standing for it because I'm white and I'm deaf and I'm vulnerable and I'm an easy thing to target. Lay off of me. Get Seattle off of my back. Those people are stupid. They believe themselves. I don't believe them. And they make that into a cause, a belly. I'm in recovery from torture. And they have refused to leave me alone. Some of my essays I would write anyway, because I believe in democracy and I believe in public contributions. I don't believe in foreign tampering and using an innocent person for Harvard warfare and attacking them blindside and torturing them, giving them deadly ultimatums. I don't know whether Putin is a monster, but if he is a monster, we're seeing what kind of monster he is through his friendships with Oliver Stone. He may even be subordinate to Eno and Penis Gabriel. He may even be cooperating with them in European war games so that we can be forced to accept this Wispensky circle from high command who doesn't trust us. And they have Exxon's flame over Africa going. And they're threatening to choke by drought the world that we want to preserve and save. There is a mass extinction going on. And I agree with Greta Thunberg. It looks like they had her in place to promote us upon. My heart goes out to you, Greta. But do not make cooperation with such an espionage syndicate a requirement for my acceptance of you as a person who I admire because I won't be able to do it. The bottom line is, is I'm a witness to what these people pulled, and I think it's disgraceful. And I think administration should put their foot down and say enough. We're not going to tolerate this kind of activity in our campuses and universities. And democracy should vote these monsters out and refuse to allow them. I'm willing to leave it to Joe Biden how to handle the situation with Europe and NATO. I think he is an intelligent person. He needs culpable in all of this. I can't replace him. I don't presume to be able to replace him. I do my best to acknowledge the arguments as best I can and look at both sides as best I can. But the truth is, when you look at the situation, you're looking at a situation where you have a cooperative agency between people like Noam Chomsky, Michael Fogg, called Ann Rand and William F. Buckley. You say that Ann Rand and William F. Buckley are part of a right-wing culture. And you say that 
Michael Foe called her Noam Chomsky or part of a raw barbarianage for the left-wing culture. Okay, so when not well, not Buckley came to a very large Republican meeting of, to speak at the University of Pittsburgh. Well, everybody came, but it was a lot of them were young Republicans. They vaguely associated both Ayn Rand and Buckley with the new with the right wing. And I asked them and opened my questions to please explain his dislike and disagreements with Ayn Rand. And they were like surprised, many of them, that he would disagree with somebody else from the right, especially when they heard the vehemence with which he disagreed with the person from the right. Same thing happens between Foucault and Noam Chomsky. Foucault and Noam Chomsky constitute a robber baronage of the left. And yet Noam Chomsky said, that Michael Foucault was the most amoral person he had ever met. Well, the four of them and Reagan and, and Gromyko put together a pact that allowed the AIDS attack, that dismantling Berlin Wall, and then they put the Ukraine you know, standard up with um, the post-COVID war because they're basically thinning the herd of the human race. And they, this is... a gloat from their incompetence and the mania of the oligarchy when leapfrog oligarchy and that's the bottom line it has to get into our history books that's where my research leads the leapfrog was Pensky circle is a bunch of the way it operates is is they preyed on the tendency for people to identify with others who are like them the way that joe lewis when he fought a white man even if the white man was popular on black boxer uh, fans and even if Joe Lewis was popular among white um, boxer fans, the races chose for their side when there was a championship. And they capitalized on this tendency and said, this one represents, our, and P.S. Sunfield says, the gardener plants an evergreen whilst trampling on a flower. See, what, the, 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 uh, what he meant was, we smush a duff white suck for juicy licks people who hate the whites, you know, and they get the engines come out, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, this kind of crowd control is a very sinister mania of people who are building an arc. And once you get the arc concept into your heads, you realize we have statuary besides Robert E. Lee that needs to be taken down. But that's a peaceful process. We disapproved of this. It's a thing of the past. We discredited it. We took their power, their money, their 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 claims to represent our world, our society. We took each other too seriously to deny that they had done this and to hell with their big bang threat from penis Gabriel's real worlds. They don't represent gay people. They simply were saying back in the days when they could have done something constructive. When I was working at the medical library in 1984, they were saying things like the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Well, that's what you get with um, these crackers, Jack.